Hello, my name is Amy Howell and I am the instructor for the Introduction to Anatomy and Physiology course taught here at the Tech Center. This is also year two of the Academy of Health Professions program and we follow the Bio 1040 and 1040L curriculum that is taught at the College of Southern Maryland. Prerequisites for the course include a 3.0 GPA or better and preferably a B or better in biology. You're going to get lots more information on how to apply for the program. Applicants are ranked based on their attendance, grades, and discipline. And then once those selections are made, lists are given to homeschool counselors to notify students. You can earn one high school credit upon successful completion of the course for science and also have the opportunity to earn up to four transcript credits from CSM. There's a one-time exam fee of $80, which boils down to about $20 per credit. Students have to pass the midterm and final with a combined average of 70% or better. There's also the opportunity to earn tech prep credits at CSM with a final grade of a B or better in the course. Anatomy and physiology is the study of the structure and function of the body. The elective anatomy course meets in the morning, periods 1-2, and the year 2 anatomy course meets in the PM session during periods 7 and 8. We learn about the human body through clinical experiences, lab experimentation, project and problem-based learning. And as a nurse, I also like to include some pathophysiology, which is a discussion of the diseases and disorders of the body, as well as talking about real life examples to make the information more relevant to students. Homeostasis is the big concept that we talk about, and that's really a balance among all the body systems and how they work together. We start in class with a very microscopic, reviewing some basic chemistry and cell biology, and then progress through the body systems and apply those concepts in learning about how the body works. Technologies that are available, of course, Schoology, we do some virtual reality, we have some simulation equipment in our lab, and for reviews to make them a little bit more fun, we use things like Quizlet Live, Kahoot, and GimKit. We also have a class set of iPads that we use sometimes to experience more 3D visualization of some of these more abstract concepts that we cover. Labs and clinicals are meant to reinforce what we learn in class through a hands-on learning activity. And even though we use the same curriculum as CSM, we have a little bit more time in our program, and we also have the benefit of belonging to the Academy of Health Professions, and so we can use equipment like vital sign machines, blood pressure cuffs, pulse oximeters, in addition to the different labs in the CSM curriculum to enhance and make learning a little bit more fun and relevant. These are pictures of students dissecting sheep brains. We do this to reinforce the structure and function of parts of the brain. We also dissect rats and hearts. And again, that's used to reinforce the anatomy portion of the course. In a normal year, which hopefully next year is, we participate in monthly clinicals at MedStar St. Mary's Hospital. Students go through all of the requirements to become vetted observers. And then each month we spend one class period at the hospital and they are assigned to different areas like the laboratory, dialysis, wound care center, the emergency room, pharmacy, just to get an overview of what the different healthcare professions are, how they work together, and work as part of a whole. A lot of times students are introduced to areas that they never knew existed, which may spark some interest and give them some ideas for pursuing degrees in the healthcare and health sciences industry. So come join us. We have lots of fun in class. We do lots of hands-on and group activities. If you have any questions after watching this presentation, please jot them down and I will be happy to answer them. Thank you.